Okay, guys. So let's talk about it. So let's 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 talk about it. So y'all was sitting here telling me like, oh, you're just making up stuff. You're just making up stuff. Like uh, uh, Chris Sean Rock, she would never put her hands on nobody. They're just lying on her. They just doing this. They just doing that. Watch this video. Watch this video because I'm going to sit there and tell you now. Tony Braston, Tamar been around for a long time. They've been around for a long time. Now, I don't know about the party. LaBelle man. I don't know about the panic LaBelle man. I don't know how long he been around but he been around long enough for him to be Tamar friend now to be his back, the background singer now he been around for that so he basically the video got leaked somebody stole the video guys somebody stole the video guys and the shit got leaked so let me let you guys see what I see. You know what I mean? Put your focus on. For some of you guys, you, you Christian fans, put your focus on. You may need them. You need mine? Because I'll give them to you. Yeah, I swear up and down that this girl don't do nothing and she's so perfect. She don't do nothing wrong. But um, the girl got lawsuits on top of lawsuits and on top of all kind of shit that's going on right now. Now, I'm going to put allegedly, even though the video's right there, y'all guys let me know what you see. So, allegedly, the proof is out there. It's shown. This is, seems like a blue face situation where nobody ever believed blue face, just like we cried wolf. Cried wolf and cried wolf and cried wolf, and eventually the wolf came. Hmm. That's that's what this did. Chris Sean. And the reason why my face look like what is because like, first of all, who is it? And why wasn't nobody stopped at the door? Two, Tony and Chris Sean did not know who each other was. All right. So Tony was like, well, who is this person coming in between me and my sister? Me and Tony both when it's time to pray and we in our dressing room. Don't nobody come and interrupt. Period. That's just something that we do. That's actually something that I learned from her. Okay. So first of all, my sister has lupus, an autoimmune disorder. Okay. If I get sick, if you get sick, it's no big deal. If she gets sick, she go to the hospital. So what she not finna do is touch a stranger's hand, embrace a stranger. She don't know Krishan from, from Adam. Okay. And so when she walked in, it kind of startled everybody. So let's just address that then. Okay. You see that? Uh, and at the end, Tony patted her on the shoulder. Okay, and, huh? and actually, that was just, the first time that I met her. She walked in that door. Yeah. That's why I turned around. No, no, and, 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 we actually had so much fun tonight, Lord God. Um, and bring us that prayer. Safe it changes home things. To our family. Amen. In Jesus name, we so, pray. let's Amen. move on to the next subject. Mm -hmm. Yup, God is good. Yup. Won't he do it? He's able. So, this is the picture in the middle of my show. When they was introduced each other, in, introduced to each other, we started talking about Baltimore. We started talking about you know coming from a whole bunch of siblings, and we, everything was all fine and dandy. Let me tell you something: Tony Braxton don't stay for nobody's concert. She don't stay backstage. She sings and she leaves. Not even hers. She stayed most of the time. We had a blast. It was cool. That's Billy Billy Woodruff over here beside Tony. That's Tony's best friend. Mm -hmm. Everything was great. Everybody was happy. No beef. No drama. Okay. Now let's move on to the next slide because today is D Day. Since people want to sell videos, people want to, you know, just put everybody on blast and, and have people come up with their own story. In one mile, today turn left the into the parking lot. A real story. So let's move on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this right here is right after James. Get bust in the face for the one to bow back. Okay, yeah, that is still in my dressing room. Um, yeah, yeah. Two knockouts. Two chance. So, so do you want to, like, is she, you going to press charges or you just... Yeah, I'm going to press some charges. I didn't do nothing to that girl. Oh! You can't leave him to the police. Oh, is that the hit that we made up? Huh? Now see, now, James is my best friend and I would never ever do him. Look at my baby lip. I would never ever do him like that. But at this point... It has gotten above and beyond out of control, okay? Nobody is lying on nobody. Nobody wants no time for nothing. That's what the legendary Tony Braxton, okay? Nobody needed a clap, okay? 
Hello, nobody's trying to get on Zeus. Well, that was a good friend of mine. If I wanted to show, I would have one. That was your nose. We wanted to show. Tony wanted to show. Whatever. Yeah, Tony is chill. Chill. So, so do you want to? Are you going to press charges or you just? Yes. I'm going to press some charges. I'm going to do nothing to that girl. No, busted. Well, we can't leave until. Okay, so what I'm saying is, if y'all will read, this happened today from his name is keon pierre i don't even know the man he said this footage that was leaked from tamar's dress room to tmz tv was captured by me the only people who have possession of it other than myself and boop the bitter one and somebody named rodney jr i don't even know him these two bozos are in cahoots with each other because they are friends. Do not use my footage to stir the pot of drama, especially if you distort the quality. He's talking about his quality, okay, child? I know that's why everybody fighting for their rights today, okay? He said, don't use my footage to stir the pot of drama, okay? Especially if you distort the quality. I know that's why everybody worrying about their body of work. Me too, that's why I'm here. <sighs> Okay, Tamar Brack said, I am deeply sorry that this footage got out and I would never do anything to tarnish you or your family's brand and name. Yes, because the truth of the matter is me and my sister meant no ill will towards nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is our torn business. We take it very seriously. And the truth of the matter is, James, I'm so sorry. I love you with all my heart and soul, but your friend sold you up a river for $5,000 dollars yep somebody said he sold the video turn left into the parking lot the then arrive at your destination Keon said y'all sold that video not me Keon said y'all sold that video to somebody named charlie for five thousand dollars now i just want to give y'all a little story time y'all want to know another story isn't this amazing this is um travis and he has a bit of information that he'd like to share travis would you step up to the podium and give the people of god the information that you know so what actually led up to Krishan being angry that night before she attacked james was the fact when she got there, she had 10 people there, but she originally only told us that it was supposed to be six people with her. So Latroy Davis, and you know I'm not lying because I was standing right there while you was talking to her and her team, you told the, the venue staff that only six people can be backstage and the rest has to go to the audience. So after she picked the six people, she was also told that she was the only one that can be on the left side of the stage by herself. After that situation happened, she ended up coming up to me and said, hey, fam, I'm not trying to cause any issues, but can I at least have one person over there? And I asked her, who did she want? And she said, her manager with the dreads. So I've got one of the venue staff members, and the venue staff member brought her manager to the back. So after that, she was calm a little bit, and then she ended up coming up to me again, and she said, hey, fam, when am I performing? What time am I performing? When time am I going Because remember on? I had said that I had wanted her to come out to do a vibe all the time, doing the twerk all part? That's what we was talking about. Go ahead. Now, read on. So I told her, I said, I didn't know anything about that, but let me go to the person who's in charge, which is Latroy Davis, while we were on tour. At the time, he was in charge. So this is his tour. <laughs> so I went up to Latroy, and I said, hey, Krishan said, when is she performing? He asked me. What are you talking about? I said, Krishan told me that Tamar Braxton told her that she can perform doing one of the halftime um, things. He was like, well, she's not getting on my stage. She's not getting on my stage. And I was like, what, what do you want me to tell her? He was like, well, she's not getting on my stage. And he walked off. And that was that. So that's the story. Please Turn right into the parking lot. The chat. They was on Twitter talking about me and do nothing Darius follow, um, a uh, TMZ producer. Baby, I follow producers from everywhere. I have been at two of the biggest companies in the entire blog outlet. All I, these are my friends. Arrived. That, again, they will all tell you. They will all tell you. All tell you. Troy does not leak stuff. They will all tell you that. Ask them. Y'all also know that gossip with homeless Travis, do nothing Darius, the, the Keon ain't got a key to a home. Like, Dog, I do this shit for real in real life. This is my real life and my real career. This is not play play. Baby, if I was going to leak it, if you were going to leak it, I'm sure it would be a lot more than 5,000. I, I wouldn't have leaked that. If I'm going to start leaking stuff, I would not start with that. And if James is going to be talking about something, well, who, who sold it? Did you find out?
before y'all accused me? Did y'all find out? Oh, okay. I'm totally disgusted by her. Um, yeah, of course, people block, they all block people for asking stuff because it does not go with the narrative that, that they over there sitting in the JR house trying to create. He said something about me. Everybody was like, don't defend yourself, but today is the day. It is D-Day. So we're going to finally talk about it. So let's talk about it. So this video today was leaked from my dressing room, which usually I have no one in my dressing room before a show when it's time to pray. It's just, you know, my immediate staff, right? So when Kashawn walked in, the reason why my face looked like what is because like, first of all, who is it? And why wasn't nobody stopped at the door? Two, Tony and Krishan did not know who each other was. All right. So Tony was like, well, who is this person coming in between me and my sister? Me and Tony both, when it's time to pray, we in our dressing room, don't nobody come and interrupt. Period. That's just something that we do. That's actually something that I learned from her. Okay. So first of all, my sister has lupus. An autoimmune disorder, okay? If I get sick, if you get sick, somebody say hey, y'all just be swearing up and down like someone just gotta be sitting here like they just that damn bored to be making up stories for somebody. But like I said, it's alleged, even though it's true. <laughs> Cause I don't think come on now, Tamar been around for a long time, guys. And anybody that know Tamar, like we know Tamar from watching Tamar, <laughs> she vicious. You know what I'm saying? She vicious. So, the video is there, guys. You can look at the video if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But you sit there and told me to get my proof. Now, what better proof than it coming out the horse's mouth? It ain't coming from nobody's mouth but the horse's mouth. And she's sitting here telling you her sister's sick. And if her sister gets sick, she goes to the hospital. So she ain't got no reason to sit there and be mean to uh, uh, Chris Shaw. She ain't got no mean to be disrespectful. She just, she just don't touch everybody. So, of course, she's not going to embrace her because she don't know her. Didn't nobody know Chris Shaw, not even Tamar, knew Chris Shaw before they brought her to this show. They didn't know this girl. They just thought that they was doing a fellow Baltimore, you know, a native, uh, 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 you know what I mean? I guess, I don't know. I don't know what they thought they was doing, but whatever she thought she was doing, Tamar, stop it. Because you can't help everybody. You can't help everybody. Okay, girl? You can't help everybody. So stop trying to help everybody because everybody ain't going to like you. Everybody ain't your friend. And everybody ain't going to receive what you're putting down. Okay? So y'all look at the video. I showed you the video. The proof is in the pudding. If you don't want to believe me, it's okay. I'm really not going to lose no sleep. You know what I mean? And for the Chris Shot 